Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? How are you? I'm fine. You're listening um the Christian event Christian. <laughs> oh really? There's a Christian event. Okay, hold on. Christian event. Por si hay interferencia voy a voy a activar poco el micrófono para no interferir. Okay. I had forgotten to connect the camera. I had no camera. Now I have a camera. Okay, so all good. Great. How many are we? We are six. Hello, Liz. Good evening. Hello. How's it going? Um ¿Cómo, how do you say? Vengo entrando. I just got in. <laughs> That's past, eso es pasado. Um, just, I, ah, just, okay. I just got in. I just got in. Podría. I just got into my house. I just ah, okay. arrived from work. For example, I just arrived from work. Right. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Lorena, good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. What about you? Um, I am very happy. <laughs> it's uh, okay. very nice. A very nice day. Okay. Good. Ophelia, good evening. Hello, teacher. How's it going? How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Very well. Okay. Great, great. Patricia, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Great. How are you, Patricia? Fine, teacher. Great, great to hear. Hi, Glorita. Hi. Hi, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Excuse me. Excuse, Excuse me. me. That's okay. Don't worry. Rafael, ¿cómo se dice? How do you say Nesia? Oh, you say stubborn. <laughs> stubborn. <laughs> okay. You say stubborn. Okay. Stubborn. Terco, terco. I'm stubborn. I'm stubborn. I have a little stubborn. Me too. Me too. But in a positive way. In a positive way. Um, like when you clean your house, if you clean your house, and you want to finish the day with the house clean and you don't stop until everything is clean. No. <laughs> that that's me. I'm stubborn. Cuando empiezo algo no me quito hasta que lo termino. So for example, today I I have to repair my car. Tuve que reparar mi carro por primera vez. Me atreví a destrabar un freno completo detrás de los de tambor. Ué. Nunca lo había hecho, pero no me detuve hasta que lo hice y terminé todo lleno de grasa. Pero quedó bien. Pues... Funciona, funciona. That's good. Okay. Al final me sobró un tornillo. Pero... Eh. O varios tornillos. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry, one second. Uh, <clears throat> Sorry. Estoy de niñero también y la niña me trae una dona a regalármela y yo no me la puedo comer ahorita. <laughs> like, what? Okay. What did you say? 
comparta. Share. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So, do you remember yesterday, the topic from yesterday? There is and there are. Hmm. So, how do we go with this? Let's see. So, we said we, we were going to talk about countables and uncountables. Okay, countables and uncountables and non countables. Okay, why is this not correct in countable? Oh, because I'm saying it in plural. Okay, what is countable and what is not non countable? Okay, it doesn't take the plural, anyways. So, countable, what is countable? In English, what is countable? Can you countable. Count Contable and contable. Right, but can you give me an example? Let's start with countable, countable objects. Much, a bit, many. Wait. <laughs> okay, those are those are quantifiers. What well, the ones you're mentioning are quantifiers. I'm asking you for objects, objects. Countable objects. Um, for example. Oh, wait, wait. Uh -uh. You can count tomatoes. Okay. Yes, you can count tomatoes. Can you count? Cars. Okay, good. What else? House. Houses. Okay, house. Houses. Mm -hmm. um, friends. Friends. Can you count your friends? Yes, you can count friends. How many friends do you have? So yes, you can count friends. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Countable nouns can be pluralized. Okay, can be pluralized. So if I say book, I can also say books, right? I can count. Um, if I say person, okay, I can say people. People. Right? People. So count. If I say cat, I can say cat. Okay. So number one, they can be pluralized. Number two, okay, they accept uh, both forms of to be so i can say there are what is it book or books books plurals books there are books okay there is a book so two forms. I can say singular and plural. Got it? Got it? So I can say there are books or there is a book. Hmm. There is a pen. There are pens. Okay, on the desk. So this is easy. This is easy. Countables. Countable objects, countable nouns. Nombres contables. Okay. Pueden ser pluralizados. Aceptan ambas formas del verbo to be. Are or is. 
ok, con are, plurals, ocupo, es el final del nombre, books, y puedo pluralizar el nombre. There is a book, hay un libro. There is a pen, hay un lapicero. There are pens on the desk, hay lapiceros sobre el escritorio. Ok, questions? Questions? Eso está relacionado también con lo que es tangible y lo no tangible. Yes, perfect. And yes, these are tangible objects. You can touch, you can touch. Puedes tocar lo tangible, right? Lo que es tangible. Okay. Questions with countables? Preguntas con los contables? No? Okay. No questions. So let's move to the uncountable or non countable nouns. Entiendo, Rafael, yes. que es todo lo que se puede tocar o ver. Mm -mm. Mm. A ver, los contables no es solamente que se vean, porque igual la arena la puedo tocar y ver, ¿no? Pero no la puedo contar. Uh -huh. Ok, y vamos a hablar de eso rápido. Non-countable non nouns. Sí, involucran muchísimo. The untangible. Uh -huh. Involucran muchísimo. The untangible, um, intangible, I'm sorry. The intangible objects like air, okay, water, water. So I'm going to do something. Let's classify. Let's classify. So let's talk about liquids uh, made of small parts. Okay. Líquidos hechos de pequeñas partes como la arena, el azúcar, el arroz, los frijoles, right? Um, abstract ideas, ideas abstractas, okay? What is an abstract idea? Una idea abstracta, someone? Feeling, sentimientos. The weather. Feelings, the weather. Okay, what else? What else? ¿Qué más? What about money? Hmm? Uh, Can you count money? Car? Money is... Con, Eso le va a preguntar, con, teacher, porque... No se puede plural, pluralizar el, el dinero. Gran error de muchos analistas políticos, analistas económicos del Salvador. Salen en entrevistas diciendo los dineros del pueblo. Right? Ok. So, money is uncountable. Incountable. Ok. It's intangible and non-countable. Money. Why? But teacher, I can say one dollar, two dollars. Oh, para contar dinero necesitas moneda. You need a currency. You need currency to count money. Necesitas currency. A ver, so, ¿cómo, cómo cuento yo algo que no puedo tocar o agarrar una suma total de ello en mi mano? Then I use I use measurement units. Measurement. Unit. measurement units. For example, just the way Jose said, pounds, okay, libras. I can use kilos. I can use bottles. What else? Meters. Meters. That's right. Meters. Right, I can use 
Yards. Second. Seconds. Hey, time. Time is an abstract idea. Like love. Okay. Excellent. What else? So yards, second, bottles, meters, kilos, pounds. And currency is one of them. La moneda. Okay. Uy. Sorry. Currency is one of them. Like dollars, euros, right? Canadian dollars, peso mexicano, right? And then you can say two US dollars, three dollars, forty thousand dollars. Okay. You can count pounds, three pounds of sugar. Four pounds of rice. Okay. In the United States, let's say, in American English, bread is uncountable. She'll add it on the top. Bread is uncountable. Okay. And you can say a loaf of bread. A loaf of bread. What is a loaf of bread? El pan. What? Me encanta, o yo amo el pan. Mm -mm. Montones. Can you see the screen? Pueden ver el, uh, en la pantalla. No? <coughs> okay. So let me give you some examples so we can all be on the same page. So you have a loaf of bread. See? A loaf of bread. Rebanada de pan? No, this whole thing. Let me see. Love, 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 love. This could be packed. Could be in a package. Okay. And this is a loaf of bread. Barra de pan. Yeah. So that's that's the reason. Um This lecture, a kilo of meat. Okay. You use measurements. Okay. A pound of sugar. Okay. And so on. Okay. Um, is that clear? Oh, what about a soap bar? A soap bar, soap bar, soap bar, soap bar. Soap bar. Mm -hmm. A soap bar. Okay. A cup of tea. A cup of tea. Okay. You cannot count the tea. You cannot say one tea, two teas, th three teas, four teas, because that's just water, liquids. Got it? Question, can you count iron? Can you count iron? Oh, wait. <laughs> can you count iron? Yes. Yes? How? You and can't count the bars? The bars, oh, okay. How the, the it they weight? It's weight, very good. You can count its weight in kilos, tons, tons. right? A ton of iron. Okay, a ton of iron. One ton, two tons, three tons. Very good, iron. Okay. Questions? A tin of tuna. A tin of tuna. A tin of tuna. <laughs> Don't get hungry, okay? <laughs> no hungry right now. 
Okay, a tin of tuna. Uh, what about a pint of paint? What about a pint of paint? A pint. The same as in Spanish, una pinta de pintura, right? A pint of paint. Okay. A can of soda. A can of soda. And so on. Algodón. Oh, can you count cotton? Can you count cotton? How do you measure cotton? Um, I think you can, you can have its weight. Yes. Which is heavier? Which is heavier? A kilogram of iron or a kilogram of cotton? It's the same. <laughs> it's the same thing, yeah, very good. <laughs> Yes, it is the same. Be careful. That's right. Okay. So measurements. Unidades de medida. Measurement. The same as in Spanish, okay? These are measurement units. Sure. Yes. Could you repeat how do you say yes? And so on. Okay. Cool. And so on. And so on. Mm -hmm. And, eh, bueno, como decía, te suena. <laughs> Does... Does that ring any bell? Does yeah. that ring any bell? That's Does that ring any bell? Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for reinforcing. Gracias por reinforzar lo que hemos visto. Very good. Bien, chicos. Sigan practicando cada cosa que vayamos viendo. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So, how do you use this? ¿Cómo ocupas esto? Okay. On your notebook, on your workbook, um, you have all of this on your workbook. See, we said there is an ATM you can count. Se pueden contar los ATMs, los cajeros. Okay. There's a recruitment center. So lo que te va a indicar que sí se puede contar es que está en singular. Si aquí dije ese recruitment centers, recruitment centers, tendría que ocupar. Mm -hmm. There are. There are recruitment centers on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. There are. Estamos claros con eso. Yes. Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, there are a lot, lots existe. There are a lots of no. lots con ese? No. No. I can say, okay, good question. I can say there is a lot of mm -hmm, uncountable. I keep saying on, is that right? Non-countable. Lots, lots, lots of those doesn't exist. Yes, lot, lots of. I have lots of money. But I don't say, I don't say, uh, I have a lot. Uh -uh. So this goes uh, with uh, okay. incountable. Uh, okay. Okay. Incountable. Lots. Thank you for the example, Edwin. Exactly. So there is a lot of uncountable. I keep saying uncountable. Why am I kept getting confused with that? Okay. Um, so, yeah. oh my God, sorry. I have lots of money, non-countable. Keeps it going, non-countable. Now, I can use this, keep an eye on this. I can use this with both non-countable and countables. So I can say, 
there. But keep an eye on the verb to be. There are a lot of cars on the street. There are a lot. There are a lot of cars on the street. There are a lot of cars. Um, okay. There are a lot of cars on the street. I have lots of money. Tengo un puño de dinero. And that's the, the difference. A lot of, mucho. Mucho de algo, okay? Lots of, un puño de algo. Okay, it's like big. I have lots of money. I have lots of friends. I have lots of friends, yes. I have many friends. Lots of cars. There's a lot of cars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. And I ask you to bring some quantifiers, right? So we will see them in a minute. Uh, Tienen alguna pregunta con eso? There is an, there is a, there's no. We go with singular. There are plurals. There are a lot of companies. There are some supermarkets. There are no hospitals. No? Okay. So we, hicimos esto ayer? No, right? Yes, we did, right? Si hicimos este ejercicio antes de retirarnos ayer, verdad? I don't think so. No, 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 this one. So if you have, no, okay, marketing presentation. Let, let's go on your notebooks, okay? Let, vamos a hacer este ejercicio en su cuaderno, okay? Try to use there is or there are and a quantifier. En algunos ejercicios se te da el, el quantifier. Some, no, no, okay? So go ahead. Okay, on your notebook. Sorry, I'm back. Okay, ready?
One minute. Okay, that's it. Let's go. Jancy, number one. There is. That's it. There is. Um. Just a, a marketing. A marketing presentation. Good. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. There's a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Uh, te pregunto, ¿eso es presente, futuro? Es presente. Hmm. ¿Quién dice que es futuro? Podría interpretarse como futuro, Bien. aunque... Recordemos que el presente también se puede ocupar para eventos agendados, eventos agendados. So, si te digo esto, si te digo esto, ya es la tarde de hoy. There's a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Hay una presentación de mercadeo cruzando la calle en la mañana. Mm, pero ya es la tarde. Ah, ok, mañana. Puede ser mañana. Mm -hmm. Definitivamente es mañana, ok. Solo quería recalcar eso, okay. Good, number two. Let's see, Lorena. Uh, number two, there are um, business workshops. Come again. The street. There are? There are some. Some. Uh, okay, um, there are some business workshops. Business workshops. Down the street. Excelente. The street. Algunos talleres de negocios bajando la calle o sí, bajando la calle, down the street. O calle abajo, calle abajo. Ok. Good. Number three, José. José Ángel. Uh, there is no, there is no, uh, how, do you, how do you say recluse? Recruitment, recruitment. Recruitment center around my building, my... My building. Mm -hmm. Building. Good, building. Mm, what do you think? What do you think? Patricia, ¿será que está bien esta oración de José? Can you tell me? No. Why, no. Edwin? Why, Rafa? Why? Are the, no. Recruitment no. Okay. Why? Centros. The oh, it is plural. Okay. There are no recruitment centers around my building. There are no recruitment centers. Teacher, mm -hmm. you can use there are or only there are no. Si se puede ocupar, there aren't. There aren't recruitment centers around my building. Si se puede. Excellent question. There are no. Sigo diciendo lo mismo, ¿eh? There aren't, pero solo contractado, por eso diría feo que digas, there are not recruitment centers, no. Así no, ok. There are no recruitment centers around my building. Good. Good. Number four. Mm, Patricia, number four. There's no store, no store. There's no store 
on the corner Roosevelt and Street Second Avenue. Okay, there's no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue. Do we all agree? Do you agree? Yes. Yes, that's right. There is no store on the corner, okay? There isn't a store, también se puede. There isn't a store on the corner of First Belt Street and Second Avenue. Recalcando la pregunta que hizo el compañero Edwin. There isn't a store. You can do that too. Number five, Gloria. Uh, there are banks behind the factory. And there are work banks behind the factory. Hmm. Work banks? Bank. Bank. There are banks behind the factory I work. There are banks behind the factory I work. Is that correct? It's banks. Do you need some? Plurals. Yeah. Yes. What do you think, guys? Is this correct? There are banks behind the factory I work. Teacher, ahí se puede agregar, digamos, some o lot. Yes. Sí, para mí siento que eso hace falta. Yes, porque el ejercicio Som. dice que hay que agregar quantifiers. Som. Agregar there is, there are, Som. and a quantifier. Som. There are some. Hay algunos, very good. There are some banks behind the factory yeah. I work. Okay. Excellent. Okay, and last one, uh, Ophelia. By the way, this is number six, so I'm going to ask you one. There is a bus burning around the, the corner. Excellent. There is an, there is an Aranza building around the corner. There is an Aranza building around the corner. Why an? Can I say there is one? There is one Aranza building around the corner. There's one. Eh, recomendación: traten al hablar de ocupar contracciones también. ¿eh? There's an Aranza. There's an Aranza. There's an Aranza. Yeah. There's one Aranza building. Excellent. ¿Y a dónde la tiene? La vas a entrar ya. Mm -mm. There's some, bueno, sí, there's some. Let's take this example. Let's see, there, mm -mm. no, there are some banks behind the factory at work. Gramaticalmente correcto, verbalmente inapropiado. No podrías. There are some. There are some banks. There are some banks. Se, se, gramaticalmente se mira feo, así como escrito. Viste qué feo se veía. There apostrofe R E. Aunque sí se puede, pero no lo he escuchado honestamente de un americano decir there are, there are, there are. Ajá. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Aranza es un nombre propio. I don't know, you tell me. No lo sé, tú lime, como dijo Chan. <laughs> eh, preguntaba porque si fuese Aranza, digamos, como decían, eh, el agrícola, el edificio agrícola, sería D, el, el, el artículo. Um, hmm. no, pero, pero, no. En este caso le vamos a agregar el, el artículo AN, UN, porque estamos hablando que es un objeto común, un, un edificio Aranza. Yo creo que querían poner avanza, fíjense. ¿Verdad? Hay un edificio que se llama avanza, ¿verdad? ¿No? Avanza es un organismo, es una... Es es una, una empresa de arquitectos, ¿no? Un socio. Es la organización de... Es una asociación de la banca de Salvador, avanza. Ay, es cierto. Ajá. Pero no... Ok. Ah, pues, bueno. Aranza Building. Es un nombre común, José Ángel. Good. Ok. okay. 
Let's practice. Let's practice some natural English. Okay. Let's see if you get it. I'm, I'm going to challenge you. Okay. This is a challenge for you. Take notes. Mm -hmm. There's no time. Translate? Anybody? There's no time. It's a challenge for you. No hay tiempo. No hay tiempo. Listen to this. There's not enough time for all that I want from you. Not enough time. In excess. There's not enough time. No, no, la canción dice not enough time. Not enough time. No hay suficiente uh -huh. tiempo. Excellent. <laughs> You can say there's not enough money. There's no money. Hey, there's no money. <laughs> A reality. <laughs> there's no money. There's not enough time. There's not enough time. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here? Listen. Hay alguien aquí? <laughs> Listen, so natural. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here? And this is a way you use this with the auxiliary at the beginning, the verb to be at the beginning. Is there anybody here? Now make it negative. Make it negative. There. There's. Good, there's, okay. Oh, yeah, there, there's, uh-huh. No, anybody. <laughs> there's nobody here. Uh, okay, there's nobody. There's nobody, okay. Eso quería aterrizar. Anybody? 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 Alguien. Alguien? Good, Jose. Alguien? Alguien? Nobody. Nadie. Nighting, nighting, very good. Hey, nobody is the same as no one. No one, no one, no one. There's nobody, there's no one here. Es lo mismo, anybody, anyone. Y, y es lo mismo, somebody, que someone. Okay, got it? Same thing. There's someone here. Let's change here. There's someone there. Uy, me comí el verb to be. I'm sorry. There's someone there. ¿Hay alguien? No se asusten, es más Edwin que está en oscuro. There's someone there. ¿Hay alguien? Ahí. Allí, very good. Ojo, eh. Here, there. Here, there. Ok. Here, aquí, there, allí. Ahí. Uh -huh. Over there. Over there. Por ahí. Por ahí. Un poquito más lejos. <laughs> Por allá. Allá. Very good. So, here, aquí, there, allí, over there. Allá. Allá. Uh -huh. O oh, por allá. Both. Okay. There's someone over there. Wait, there's someone over there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just landing this subject, are there any, we use any for questions are and negatives. Questions? We use any for negatives 
and questions. So this is a question. Are there any vegetables in the fridge? Okay. Are there any vegetables in the fridge? So, ¿qué te dice esto? Con lo que hemos estudiado, ¿de qué estoy hablando? ¿Contables o incontables? Contables. Countables, yes, because this is plural. Very good. Nonetheless, nonetheless, sin embargo, nonetheless, is there any milk in the fridge? Is there any milk in the fridge? <gasps> but milk? Milk is uncountable. You can count. It's non-countable milk. Is there any milk? So both. Yeah. Okay. No. There isn't. No, there aren't. Oh, sorry. No, there isn't any. Oh, there isn't any. No, there aren't any. Remember the short answers? Recuerdan las respuestas cortas? Okay. No, there isn't any. No, there aren't any. Okay. That's the way you answer. And okay, there isn't any money in the wardrobe. What is a wardrobe? Google it. What is a wardrobe? Uh huh. You sure? So how do you say, how do you say gaveta in English? I thought I was saying gaveta. Uh -huh. Help me, Google it. There isn't any money in the wardrobe. Um, this is a negative. So negative questions, you can say any. Okay. En negativas y en preguntas decís any. Some. Solamente es para positivas, ¿ok? Como ya lo vimos en los ejemplos anteriores. There's some time. There are some lemons. ¿Ok? Questions. ¿Ok? How do you say gaveta in English? Drawer. Drawer. Like that? Yes. yes. Drawer. Drawer. So I was supposed to say drawer here. Okay, I love the video. Drawer. There isn't any money in the drawer. No hay nada de dinero. No hay, sí, no hay nada de dinero. En la gaveta. Okay. If there are no questions, Let's continue the challenge. Vamos a continuar con el reto, ¿ok? So, um, les dejé una tarea que trajesen hoy quantifiers. Liz me dijo que lo había hecho. ¿Alguien más? Anybody else? Mm. Who said me? Me. Me. Ok, thank you, Gloria. Ok, let's start with Gloria and then I go with Liz. So Gloria, give me one quantifier, your favorite quantifier that you found. Okay, many. Many? Much. Oh, two, okay, many and much. Thank you. Let's clear this out. Vamos a aclarar esto, okay? Many. Ah, no, 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 no. Eh, me equivoqué. <laughs> many. <Yeah, cool. laughs> 
<risa> bueno, está bien, está bien. Está bien. Ya, ya le agarro otro, espérame. Uncountable. Oh, no uncountable, porque sigo diciendo, me acostumbré a decir sí, eso. Sí. No uncountable. Ok, much. No uncountable. There's much money in my pocket. Ok. There is much money in my pocket. Luego veremos que solo el hecho de decir um, how much, y eso es lo que muchos han de estar pensando, ya lo vieron. How much. Demasiado. Uh -uh. Señor contador, oh, vamos. Oh. Hey, how much, how much. Cuánto. Cuánto, that's it. How Cuánto. Much money. Uh, no, ni siquiera necesito, Gloria, decir money. How much, por si sí solo significa cuánto. ¿Cuánto? How much. Me puedo referir a dinero, me puedo referir a tiempo. So, si le digo a mi jefe, hey, I need time off. I need time off. Hey, boss, I need time off. Necesito tiempo. Necesito tiempo fuera. Tiempo fuera, tiempo libre, ¿ok? Y él me puede decir, mm, how much? ¿Cuánto? Refiriéndose al tiempo, ¿no? Ok, same example. Hey, boss, I need money. He will tell me how much. Que tu jefe te diga cuánto cuando le despedí dinero. <laughs> no. Ok. Never in the life. Never in the life. What? <laughs> What? <laughs> right. Ok. That's clear, right? Okay. Y sí, sí se puede, Gloria. How much water do you drink? A day. How much water do you drink a day? I, I drink uh, five, five vessels. I, five cups. Vessels. Five cups. Five, five glasses, five cups. <laughs> A día. Today. A day. A day. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay. So, now about many, since it is countable. Incountable. It is countable. Many, many. Let's go with many. Countable. Okay, many. Um, how many? How many glass of water? Glasses Glass. of water. Glasses. How many glasses of water do you drink a day? ¿Ves la diferencia? Aquí ocuparse un uh, measurement, ok? Measurement unit. La unidad de medida acá serían los vasos. Ok. So, en teoría, un incontable se puede volver contable si tú le agregas una unidad de medida. Mm -hmm. Lógico, ¿no? It's very logical. How many glasses of water do you drink a day? How many times? How many times do I have to tell you? How many times? Ojo con esta pregunta. How many times? No estoy preguntando cuántos tiempos, right? What is it? Veces. ¿Cuántas veces? How many times do I have to tell you? <laughs> ¿Cuántas veces te tengo que decir? Ok. Gloria, you said you had another quantifier. Cerramos con Gloria y luego continuamos con este ejercicio con alguien más. Ok, Gloria, ¿cuál era el otro quantifier? Eh, eh, el que usted ha dicho, el que usted ha dicho. ¡Oh, Dios mío, si ¿sí se dice esto. <laughs> Any? Any? Ya lo vi. Any? Oh. Alguien que me diga para qué se ocupa Any. Así, chicos, rápido, rápido. No nos queda mucho tiempo desde de pasar la lista. ¿Para qué se ocupa Any? Few, 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 few. Uh, any, para. para hacer more. Sorry, uh, Lorena. Me quiere preguntar sobre si hay algo, alguna, algo. Mm, ¿En qué situación? Anyway. ¿En qué? ¿En qué? estructura voy a ocupar any? 
Negative and questions. questions. Negative and questions. Una. Puedo ocupar any. Negativa. Negativas sí. y preguntas. Correcto. Puedo ocupar any. That's yeah. right. Ok, decía eh, few, few. Le decía, eh, eh, pero ¿cómo se pronuncia? Es F-A-W. F-E-W. F-E-W. Uh -huh. Few. 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 Ok, yes. There are few animals in the world. Hay pocos animales en el mundo. A few. Hay un una pequeña cantidad. Mm, wait there, a minute. There is. There is a few amount. Uy, que dije. There is, I think, thank you. There is a few amount. Few amounts. There are a few yeah. amounts of, there's a few amount of sugar in the pot. ¿Lo encontró como que se puede ocupar para plurales y para singulares, Gloria, o solo, o ambos? No, ambos. Es para few, a few, a few. A few, right? A few. Pero yo me estoy equivocando. There's a few articles. Sigue siendo plural. There's a few articles about it. In the newspaper. There's a few... Money. Sigue siendo incontable. Ok. There are few animals. Hay pocos animales. There is a few. Hay un poco. Hay un poco. Give me an idea. Oh my God. I'm clueless. Me quedé en blanco. There is a few. Aquí. I have a. An example, example please. Okay. Okay, this is Do you have a few dollars? Yes, I was see. Estaba en lo correcto, tiene que ser plural. There's a few dollars. Hay unos pocos dólares. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the point. Un, okay, pocos, unos pocos. There's a few dollars in the drawer. Drawer, drawer, drawer. Yo me repetí esa palabra como 100 veces para que no se me olvidara. Drawer. Gaveta. Ok, vamos a continuar con esto en un segundo. Uh -huh. Sí, Gloria, dígame antes de que se le vaya no, a olvidar. No. Eh, la otra frase es, there are, there are few tourists here today. Tourists. Today, turistas. Today. Yeah, tourists. Tourists. Hay palabras difíciles de pluralizar, ¿no? Tourist, tourist. Tourists. Más tourists. que todas las que terminan en T. Y solo les agrega ese. Se ve un poco difícil. Ok. Good. Let's continue. Where are you guys? Ok. Today is the 17th. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Here. Ok. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Here. Thank you. Blanca Argelia Fabián Mejía. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Here. Thank you. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Thank you. Antes de continuar, chicos, háganme un gran favor, enciendan su cámara y asegúrense de tener todos su nombre completo. Please. Here. Ok. Thank you, Eric. Sí, Vanessa García. Liz Pérez, please, agregamos el nombre completo, no perdamos la costumbre. Mm, estoy en el celular, no sé ahí cómo es hacerlo, por eso. Yo le ayudo, yo le ayudo, no se preocupe, aquí le voy a poner. Bye. Carla, 
Por Vanessa eso, García de Rodríguez. Vanessa. Ah, no, perdón, ¿cómo era? Carla Vanessa García. ¿qué? Hasta Frisi se quedó. De Pérez. De Pérez, vaya, está bueno. Pérez con Z, ¿verdad? Pérez. Ya me jalaron el pelo aquí. Sí. <risa> Sorry. Era el apellido de Adán, ¿verdad? No, no hay problema. Si comes de esa, verdura, de esa fruta, perecerás. Bueno. <risa> Uh -huh. Flora Lorena me convirtieron, Chávez. no porque yo a García Galdán me vaya. Thank you. Sorry. Ok, thank you. Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Here. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Jennifer Carolina Gallardo Chacón. José Ángel Pereira Romero. Here. Thank you. José Marvin Portillo Orgueta. Karen Alexis Juárez Vigil, Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. Ya me dijo que sí. Ok, maybe Sibet, Mía Contreras. Here. Thank you, maybe. Néstor Iván Ramírez Galeano. Ok, Ivan no está con nosotros hoy. Uh -huh. Ok. Ofelio Orellana Arce. Here. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Por ahí lo veo, ok. Here, here, here. Reinaldo Bonilla Martínez. Verónica Lisset Sánchez Pérez. Here. Yancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. Good, thank you. Ok, so, lamentablemente no podemos ocupar aquella herramienta que les enseñé de Miro, Miro.com o el Jamboard de Google. Eh, pero podemos ocupar el chat de Zoom. So let's go to the chat. Necesito que todos me escriban un ejemplo de una oración con un quantifier. Una oración con un quantifier. Y vamos a poner una regla para que esto sea un buen reto y sea algo entretenido. No se puede repetir. Go. Si alguien puso ese, ese cuantificador, ya no lo podés ocupar. Apúrate, apúrate. Here we up. El único que te puse. <laughs> Come on, guys. You can do it. I have any friends. Oh, José, José Ángel, arregle mi oración. No se puede ocupar en en positivas. <laughs> I have a lot of clothes. Ok. Good, Lorena. I saw few. Oh, no, no. Eso es pasado, Ana Michelle. <laughs> I saw few people in the program. Eso es pasado. Vamos, lo que hemos visto. Come on, guys. Okay. Jack has many friends. Better. better. Many. Any. Jose. Ah, ya lo arregló. I see many friends every day. Better. Oh, pero ¿y ahí qué onda? Ya puso Michelle many. ¿Quién, se, quién, quién va a quitar el many? <laughs> Me dice, Beth, there is not much time. Mm, okay, there isn't much time. A majority of boys mm, is a big. Verónica Lisset Sánchez Pérez. Liz, a majority of boys are big. There is enough heat. Ya alguien ocupó enough. There is enough heat in here. Hay suficiente calor aquí. Yeah. There are several shirts. Good, Eric. There are several shirts. Hay muchas camisas. Yeah. What is yeah? <laughs> Come on, guys. Ophelia, I'm waiting for you. Gilberto. Sí. That's it. Rafa ya puso su ejemplo. Quiero ver. Sí, ahí está. Ok. González. There are some fruits in the refrigerator. Digamos fridge. Mejor más corto. Fridge. Fridge. Ok. There are some fruits in the refrigerator. Ok. That's it. Jancy. Let me see. No, I'm missing Jancy. I'm missing Patricia. 
None of my shoes are pretty. Very good. Hey, that's a good one. That's a good one. Esa está buena. None of my shoes are pretty. Do you have a few dollars? Eso es lo que me diría. En la calle. Hey, do you have a few dollars? <laughs> oh my God, baby. Let's see. How do you say caete con la nana? That's the way you say it. Uh -huh. Do you have a quarter? <laughs> there are too many chances for me. Hey, good, Ana Patricia. There are too many chances for me. Good. He has a lot of books. Tiene muchos libros. A lot of. Very good. There are some fruits. Better. Great job. I have little money. Hey, I like that one. Es bien natural. I have a little money. Gilberto, great. Everybody, ojo, everybody needs somebody. Everybody needs somebody. Tercera persona. Everybody se trata como tercera persona. Good. Um, there are some businesses near my house. Perfect. Excellent. Very good, Jancy. Plenty of information. Yeah, an observation. An observation. Excellent, Laura. Plenty of information. Okay, me queda viendo el vuelto, Ophelia. <laughs> Carla Vanessa me parece que se movió. Okay, great job, guys. Good. Okay, let's see. So now that you know this, let's see. Don't bring food. We have plenty. Good, maybe it's hasta se bien British, bien británica esa oración. Don't worry, food, we have plenty. Plenty of information. Okay, good job, good job. Okay, so now that you have this information, ya que manejas esta información, let's create a conversation with a partner describing the places that are around the the building using the grammar. So <clears throat> let's make it up. Vamos a inventar esto, okay? De una manera muy creativa. Vamos a hacerlo en grupitos. And for example, I can say there are five buildings around. Gran dislexia, Dios mío, perdón. Around um, inglés corporativo. Okay. There are five buildings around inglés corporativo, which is where I work. Okay. Look, look, there is, I'm going to contract it. There's not a space. There is not a space, or there's no space, sounds better. There's no space in the parking lot. What am I saying? There's no space in the parking lot. What am I saying? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? No hay espacio en el parqueo. No hay espacio en el parqueo. There's no space in the parking lot. Okay. Pero siendo, siguiendo el ejemplo del ejercicio, let's see. Um, there are 240 kilometers from my house to my job. Okay. Hmm. There isn't any restaurant near my workplace. What am I saying? ¿Qué estoy diciendo? Hello? No hay ningún restaurante cerca de trabajo. Excellent, very good. Look at this. Oh, pero no podría. Mm. Mm. 
Anyways, let's do it. There's no one selling tortillas near my workplace. Se creativo o apegate la realidad. There's no one selling tortillas near my workplace. Mi esposa nunca me pone tortillas. There's no one selling tortillas near my workplace. Okay, so be creative. Creo que seas muy creativo y creas una conversación con tu equipo. Okay. Um, hablando de los lugares que hay cerca de tu um, edificio, cerca de tu lugar de trabajo. Okay. Usando la, la mática que hemos aprendido. So, para poner en práctica todo lo que hemos visto y, las, visto y, y las preposiciones, también, tell me, where do you work? Let me see. Let me get an example from someone. Let's get an example. Okay. An example from... Dun, 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 dun. Michelle. Michelle, where do you work? Michi. Is Michelle around? Where's Michelle? Oh my God, se desconectó Michelle. Yes, she did. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's go with Rafa. Rafa, where do you work? Donde trabajo. Mm -hmm. I work. At oh, in the Univo. I guess in the Univo. Wait, I work at Univo. Right? Okay, I work at Univo. Where is it? El siguiente diría, where is it? Okay, y Rafa diría, it's at mm -hmm. or on. Let's be very specific. It's in Sonsonate, right? No, it's in San Miguel. San Miguel. It's okay, in it's San in, Miguel. San Miguel. On. On Barrio San Felipe. The highway. Mm, on. Wait. ¿Cuál es la, la calle o el bulevar que pasa por ahí? Está la salida de San Miguel. I don't know. Ajá. On, on Avenida Roosevelt. Ok, on ajá, Avenida Roosevelt. Uh -huh. At. Más específico, nota que voy de lo at, más grande, lo más específico. At, at, eh, ahí sí, Barrio San Felipe. At Barrio San Felipe, ok. Tendría que volver, ¿no? ¿Se acuerdan? Yeah. En Barrio San Felipe. Uy. San Felipe. Eh, at the... At the cemetery, 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 cemetery. Okay, at the cemetery. En el cementerio. Uy. Okay, good. So, de lo más grande a lo más específico. Okay. And you, where do you work? Well, I work at Inglés Corporativo. Where is that? Oh. It's in San Salvador, um, at Calle Las Magnolias. I can't remember, oh my God. Um, Calle Las Magnolias and Calle in, in 99 Avenida Norte at, at the right side. Ah, muy específico, okay. Good, in, on, at, and so on. Ok, good. So, de nuevo, tenés que crear una conversación con tu compañero 
diciendo dónde está tu trabajo, qué es lo que hay alrededor. Okay. There's a ros el Rosal Restaurant. There's a el Rosal Restaurant near to Inglés Corporativo. Okay. And it is close to, it is close to the roundabout. Um, maybe it's, ¿cómo se llama? Is that roundabout? Oh my God, I forgot. Lucero. It's close to the roundabout Lucero. Está cerca del roundel Lucero. Okay. Got it? Got it? Yes. Ya me gusta esto. Ok. Vamos a hacer esta conversación súper rápido y luego vamos a trabajar en algo más divertido. Ok. Good. So I'm going to split you right now. Los voy a dividir. We are only 12. Hmm. Ok. Let's make small groups. Very small groups. Muy pequeños los grupos. Let's go. Es una conversación eh, donde preguntemos dónde trabaja el otro y utilicemos qué lugares hay cerca de ahí. Teacher, ya hice la tarea ayer, pero no me preguntó cuándo la hago. Ok. Se la, puedo right. uh -huh. Se la puedo leer para ver si no está tan mal. Hacemos la actividad. Agrega lo que investigaste acá en el ejercicio. Como dirías, hay muchos restaurantes cerca de mi trabajo. Right, Eric? There are lot restaurants. Lots. Near... Um, there are many. There are many are restaurants. There are, many, there are many restaurants near worst place. Near my workplace, Please. near to my workplace, near my job. Yeah. Near my job, okay. Mm -hmm. Bye. Did Bye. I your restaurant? Hasta poder decir mi trabajo está entre restaurantes. My job is among restaurants. My job is among restaurants. You see? Very good. My job is am among restaurants. My job is among restaurants. That's why I'm fat. Por eso estoy gordito. Okay. Really? Yeah. <laughs> eso, eso, eso ocurrió, me ocurrió en call centers. Está, había de todo ahí en, en el Salvador del Mundo. O sea. Alrededor de la universidad no tiene idea de cuántas cafeterías hay, teacher. Dios mío, man. Panadería, típicos. <laughs> Choris. I mean, the, everything, right? Yes. Oh, menú bien variado, un día comías típico otro día comías chori, otro día pizza Dios mío. Eh, en la mañana una cosa, en la media otra en la tarde otra yes. so. y solo sentado, imagínate sí. ocho, ocho, diez horas sentado, wow that's crazy, ok, keep going keep going sí, sí. Colonia por Blanca Uh, the address is 41 South Avenue and 12 West Street, number 2203. No, 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 and 12 West Street, number 
I'm just listening, don't worry. Solo les estoy escuchando. Okay. Um. Rafael, and hey. you, and you, and me, and you, ah, me what? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, no, Rafael, Rafael, estamos con sí. <laughs> el compañero Rafael. <laughs> okay, Rafael, where where is you working? I work. In Universidad de Oriente. Okay. Uh, sería. Um, where is the Where is the lo, locator? ¿A De Univo y um, es en San Miguel. San Miguel. Okay. On Barrio San Felipe. At San Miguel Cemetery. How the how's the water in in, in, in the San Miguel? Excuse me. How's the water in San Miguel? San Miguel is hot. <laughs> now okay. use a quantifier. Now use a quantifier. San Miguel is very. Uh, hot. It's very hot. Okay. Very hot. Mm -hmm. But in my in my office, uh, do teacher, como digo, hace mucho frío. Hace mucho in my frío. office, is very cold. Do. It's very cold because of the AC. Because of the AC, por el aire acondicionado. That's that's that. And you live mm. How do you say ambiente? Ambient, environment. Environment, oh, okay. Um, variado? Very. How do you say variado? Perdón? Um, what do you want to say? ¿Qué quieres decir? El ambiente es, es como, muy variado. En mi ambiente es muy variado, ajá. Ok, uh, pero estamos hablando de clima siempre. Oh. Sí. sí. Ok, the mm -hmm. weather varies. The weather varies. Yes. The weather varies eh. in my city. ¿Sí? ¿El clima varía en mi ciudad? Es que, vaya, lo que pasa es que quiero, quiero decir, ¿verdad? Como que mi mente es más variado porque salgo mucho. Oh, ok. Good. Ajá. It's very... Hmm. It's very. I, no, I will say I have very. I have a lot of options. Como cambiante. I have a lot of options in my. Es. I have a lot of options in my ambient. Um, Mm -hmm. I have a lot of options. Tengo muchas opciones en mi ambiente. 
Ambiente muy variado. Mm. Oh. Liz, how many how many business there are in your uh, there are near of the your work? Repeat, please. How many? How many business businesses businesses? Are there. are there near your job? Your job. How many businesses no are there? No sé, pero siento que le escucho como cortado. Sí, se le corta un poco. Me... How many Ajá. businesses are there near your job? ¿Cuántas compras necesito en el día? No. ¿Cuántas ven? How many? ¿Cuántos Ajá. negocios? How many? Ajá. ¿Cuántos? Businesses are there near your job. ¿Cuántos? Okay, how many is cuántos? Sí, how, cuánto. How much is cuánto? So in this case, mm. cuántos, por ende va un plural. Businesses. ¿Qué significa? Recuérdenme, por favor, business. Negocios. Negocios. Necesito. Mm -mm. Are there. Are there sería hay. Near. En mi trabajo. Near. Necesito. Cerca de mi trabajo. You got it. Very good. You got it. Como 200. No, ahí. Sí, es que fuiste parte por parte, pero lo tenías muy bien. Ajá. How many businesses are Ajá. there near your job? ¿Cuántos negocios hay cerca de tú? Trabajo. ¿Qué? Ajá, como, uy, incontables. ¿Cómo podría decir? ¿Cómo podría explicar eso? You can, you can count them. You can't count them. A lot of, a lot of business. A lot of businesses. You can't, literal, count them. Man, you can count them. Tú los puedes contar. Okay. Más natural. The list is endless. The list is endless. Es una lista sin fin. ¿Qué? Hoy hablando de Google Translate. <laughs> Mira, a ver. Gloria. 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 Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> okay, yo. Is is there? Mm. Ana Patricia, teacher. Tell me, where do you work? I work. I work is your name Link. The company Link. The office address A is forty one Avenue. To and 12 West Street, number 2200, three Colonia Flor Blanca. What we, what, what we have near the office in the National Gym, the Ting Marine Music, and a little for our for, for, down the Costa Plan Park. Very close is also Fuden, which a company that are dedicated to supporting low income people in them and I to help. Le entendí todo. Very good. Algo así. It's good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> which helps low income people. You know, gente de bajos ingresos. Very good. Yo entendí, pero ya lo último sí ya no, porque ya uso palabras que no conozco. Pero así como Low que income. está cerca de, del Team Marín, el Inácio Nacional, y todo eso. Uh -huh. Pero ya cuando ya lo otro. Ok. So. En mi caso, con mi dirección, que yo prácticamente estoy carretera al puerto y no hay nada cerca. Uh -huh. No, no, porque puede decir que está... La residencia Tuscania, 
Y no sé si ahí quedó un campo de golf o qué. Uh -huh. Puedo, o sea, si se puede solo, si yo puedo poner solo eso, ya que es lo único cerca, ya llegando a la región. Ok, it's near. Decir, porque cuando mi hermano trabaja ahí, pero yo he ido y hay como una cancha de, de Ajá. rápido, hay unas fuentes, eh, y, está un eres... estacionamiento grande, uno puede decir, ¿verdad, teacher? Exactamente como lo acabas de decir, there is a fountain, and then, conectores, and then you turn right, Okay. okay, and there is a park. There is a park, okay. Okay, o sea que no, en mi caso, digamos, para este ejercicio no es necesario que describa desde las calles que tomo hasta llegar a la residencial, sino que solo puedo describir lo que está alrededor. Perfect, ah. esa es la idea. Esa es la idea. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My job, my job is among... My job is among many trees, many woods. My job is among many parks. Mi trabajo está entre muchos árboles, entre muchos parques. Amongst many, okay. among many. Y en mi caso, si está alrededor de muchas torres de departamentos o muchos edificios, porque sí, es lo que me pasa a mí. Tengo mucha... Okay, my job is among many building apartments. Many apartment buildings. Many apartment buildings. Muchos. Ajá. Edificios de apartamentos. Good. Okay. Remember, is a role play. Acuérdense que es un role play de preguntarle al otro. Hey, where do you work? I work at really. And where is that? ¿Dónde queda eso? Oh, it is. Okay. Y, te, y vas más a ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú, tal vez? ¿Y tú, Michelle? Sí. Yeah. Good job. Gracias. Okay. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Ana Patricia, ok. Ok. <laughs> Bye. Así era. Finish. You're done, okay? We finished. Uh, so let's see. Give me the example. Let's start. Hey, Carla. How are you? Good. And you? Great. Hey, where do you work? I work in CESA. I work at CESA. I work at CESA. Okay, really? CESA. Where yes. is that? It is in 25 South Avenue. Uh -huh. uh, number 1025 in San Salvador is near to Pedagogica University oh. and uh, next to Guadalupano College. I know where is it. Perfect. <laughs> Excellent. Very good. Okay. okay. Next example. Oh, ahí le decís a otro, ¿no? And what about you? Ophelia. Ophelia, okay. What about you, Ophelia? I work in, in Santa Tecla and Residencial San Rafael in Pavesa on Centro Comercial La Esquina el, el Mall. Excellent. You got it. Ahora, tírele la pregunta a alguien más, Ophelia, Lorena o Edwin? What Edwin. about what about you, Edwin? What are, what are you, Edwin? Hey, good. What about you, Edwin? Good. Uh, I am working in a project located in the Paisnal Municipal. Municipality. Uh, in municipality. Mm -hmm. In La Cabaña. How do you say Caserío, teacher? Oof. Mm -mm. Hamlet. Hamlet? Homestead. Homestead. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, no. la cabaña Homestead. Yeah, I heard Homestead once. Si sí es cierto, si sí existe Homestead. Homestead. Uh -huh. Ok. At, at San Carlos Community. At San Carlos Community. Ok. Comunidad San Carlos. Uh -huh. 
That's it. Perfect. What about That's you? It. And you, Lorena? Perdimos a Edwin. Okay. I work at... What work about you, Brisbane. Lorena? Hi, Edwin. I work at World Vision Office in the Department of Osceolotan. Municipality of San Francisco Javier on the main street near the health center. Easy. Okay. Ahora agregamos algo todos. There is, there are, <coughs> many, a lot of, okay, some. For example, oh, y si queda en la nada el trabajo, como cuando vas a Zacate y hay un edificio en medio de un gran llano, ¿eh? no hay nada ahí. There's nothing around my job. No hay nada alrededor de mi trabajo. Apúntenlo. There's nothing around my job. Okay. And there are some buildings around my job. There are two malls near my job. There are two malls near my job. Hay dos centros comerciales cerca de mi trabajo. I work... I work among trees. Trabajo entre los árboles. I work among trees. Beautiful. Okay. Ese era el punto también. Ocupar las prepositions. The place. Among trees. Okay. There are some hospitals and schools. Near to my job. Near my job. Near my job. Okay, good. There are some schools and hospitals near my job. Yeah. Perfect. Edwin? And nothing more. <laughs> okay, Edwin. Ríos, yes. lagos, potentes volcanes. Come on. Okay, apacibles lagos. Casi, casi no escucho. Ah, es que tienes problemas con la conectividad, Edwin. Se nota que se te ha bajado la, la creo velocidad. Que, creo que es la computadora. Creo que no sirve los parlantes. Mm, mm. Audífonos, ok. ¿Podría okay. repetir? Sí, eh, que agreguemos preposiciones de lugar, ¿no? Among, close to, across. Wow. Uh -huh. Ok. okay. Sí, Podríamos agregar is norte, near... sur, este, oeste. Espérame, Lore, que termine la idea de Edwin. Ajá. In my case, is near to the Lempa, Lempa River. Near to the Rio Lempa. Near to, yeah, near. el Rio Lempa. Near to el Rio Lempa. Okay, my job is yes. near to el Rio Lempa. There are many trees. There are Many roads, muchas carreteras, many roads, right? Okay. There Good. are, no, there is a, a cooperativa. There's a, a cooperative. cooperative. There's an, en, yeah, an NGO, but is it an ONG? An NGO or cooperative. A, 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 a cooperative near to the project. Perfect. So there are. There are many, many, many trees or okay. mangoes. Many mango trees. Wait. Mango. <laughs> many fruit and, trees. And papayas. Fruit trees. Awesome. Good job. Okay, you say mango. Mango in English. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, Lorena. Sorry. There is in the north. North. Of the city. Mm -hmm. my, my job is in the south oh. of the city. Oh no, the north. My job is. Oh. Hmm. My job is heading north. Hmm. Hacia la ciudad. O de la ciudad. 
al norte de la ciudad. Okay, north from the city. So my job is heading, heading north from the city. Está al norte de la ciudad. Heading north. Okay. Good job. Okay, let's go back. Let's go. Okay, let's wait. Teacher, mm -hmm. I have a tutorial today. Really? At what time? 10.40 at 10.50. Oh, <laughs> with me? I, I am the last, yeah. Oh, good, good. No, no. Hi. It's a one-on-one -on -one session. Es una sesión uno a uno. Vaya I pensando. Know, I went to sleep early. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, it's okay, it's okay. No, 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 let's clarify. Vamos a aclarar eso. De hecho, estaba pensando en lo mismo, me leyó la mente. ¿En serio? Yeah. Okay, Por ejemplo, Iván no va a estar probablemente, no sé, de okay. 10 y 10 a 10 y 20. Y pues, si Iván no está, pues. pues ah, yeah. a las 10 y media estaba Karen Alexis Juárez Vigil, pero ella se ha ausentado, ¿no? Tampoco. Ajá. Y no habían confirmado. Eh, no. no, no, no. ¿Cómo sería? They know they are they they they're not confirmed. They didn't confirm. They no didn't. confirmaron. They didn't confirm. Right. Mm -hmm. So I pass oh igual está. Oh no. Ajá. Entonces revisemos esto. Creo que ya regresaron todos. ¿no? <laughs> We're 14. Okay, guys. A las 10 en punto se quedaría. Bueno, se uniría primero Lorena. Ok, 10 y 10 a 10 y 20 tengo el espacio de Néstor Iván Ramírez Galeano, que no sé si se va a unir. Ok, mm. Ana Michelle está de 10 y 20 a 10 y media. Teacher. Hey. And we have some ¿Puedo for... tomar el lugar de Néstor Iván si nadie lo toma? Aquí soy yo ya. <risa> <risa> ah, bueno. Por eso que estamos hablando de eso, porque... <risa> Están encima del lugar más temprano todos. <risa> ok. Hey, pero. Mm. Mm, re reorganization. <risa> sí, es que el problema es que, o sea, mi, la intención es no quedarme solo ahí durante 10 minutos. Pero, pero ¿y hay forma de que podamos confirmar con el resto? Si no, para pues. A ver, con quien definitivamente no, no me contesta es Karen Alexis. Eh, ya, pues, no. Entonces, ¿por qué no por qué nos reorganizamos? Y pues si después llegan, pues hay que tocar la siguiente pregunta. Sí, correcto. Lo que yo? Lorena definitivamente de 10 a 10 y 10. ¿Va a poder Lorena? Ok, thank you. Uh, Néstor Iván está con nosotros. Ana Michelle Guevara está de 10 y 20 a 10 y media. Eh, me parece que es... Es buena hora. Es buena hora. Eh, Karen Alexis Juárez, oh, what? ¿Quién? Ahí está Iván. No. ¿Por quién habló? Están asustando, no sé. Ok. Y yo. Uy. Eh. Uy. Oh, Gilberto, ok. Ah. Sorry. It's ok. Vaya, ahí está. Entonces, Karen, ¿sería el lugar de Iván o el lugar de Karen, eh, Carla Vanessa? El de Iván. Ok, y igual quedaría un espacio de, de diez y media a once que si ustedes gustan unirse y tienen alguna pregunta. Eh, sí, Gilberto, ok, perfecto, ahí lo espero. Ahí okay. le voy a estar escribiendo en el chat, ok. Perfecto. Entonces sería de diez, diez a diez, veinte. Tentativamente. El de Iván. Va. Tentativamente, uh -huh. porque si él se une, porque Iván sí nos falta, me he extrañado que verdad. no esté con nosotros y no me ha escrito. No sé oh, qué ha ocurrido. Escribámosle. Uh -huh. Sí, vamos a reconfirmar un momento. Ok. Yeah, perfecto. Good, good, good. Gracias. Guys, bien, lo que acabamos de ver, 
era como ocupar preposiciones junto a there is, there are. Perdón, cómo usar quantifiers junto a there is, there are. Y en su libro tenemos la tarea de arreglar esto. Let's see. Let's fix this. So if you go to page 46, you have more prepositions of place. Remember? Prepositions of place. So where is the park located? It is located among many places. It is located. Cuando digo it is located, estoy diciendo está localizado. Es como decir queda en, queda cerca, queda entre, queda en. Okay, barrio street. En? Está ubicado en, ajá, correcto. Está ubicado en. Por eso está en pasado la palabra locate, located. Okay, it is located. So, ocupar among, in front of. Okay. Super. A mí me gusta hacerlos pensar siempre. Let's go. Prefiero que piensen a rellenar espacios en blanco. Siento que eso ayuda muchísimo a que ustedes puedan eh, razonar en el momento. Ante todo porque estamos cansados y estamos en modo reptil. Si no saben qué es eso, búsquenlo en Google. Modo reptil es cuando ya te estás muriendo y se pones en modo survivor. Tenés que sobrevivir. Así como en tu época cavernícola dicen... Eh, se te mueve tu instinto, ¿no? Tu instinto es el que te mueve ya cuando estás dando la patada de ahogado, como decimos los salvadoreños, ok. So, how do you say? Are many trees. Um... Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. There Hay are muchos. many trees around my job. Well, I don't talk my job. Yes. Yeah. There are many oh, trees my... around my job. Uh, off my job? Mm -mm. No necesito no. el off. No, it's um, okay. Around my job. Around. Okay, how many trees around my job? Okay, let's continue on your notebook. Continuemos en su, en su libreta, okay? Es paseando o pasando en Metrocentro? Pasando. Ah. Pasando Metrocentro. Hay una preposición. I see many people say... No. Wait, wait. <ríe> Esperemos a los demás a ver quién, quién logra acertar. Ok.
Ok. Se escucha raro cuando escribe hay dos cajeros automáticos cruzando la calle. <risa> no. <risa> sí, yo sé. <risa> Me llega a buena imaginación. <risa> Se los llevan raptados si fuese así. <risa> Okay, ready? Okay. Vamos con Carla, Vanessa, que quería contestar esta. Veo muchas personas pasando Metro Centro. Okay. I see many people. Passing Metro Centro. Sí, sería lo más adecuado. Passing Metro Centro. Um, uh, we can use going on. Mm -mm. Or not. Mm -mm. Not in this case. I see many people passing Metro Centro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Do we all agree or alguien ha tenido otra manera? Do we all agree? No? Okay. So yeah. next, you agree. Okay, excellent. Eric, no hay muchas rutas de bus que lleven a mi trabajo. Teacher, perdón. Perdón. Yes? Este, yo, yo puse going to Metro Centro. Yendo a Metro Centro. Ah. Uh... Mm. Y aquí sería pasando Metro Centro. Ok. Ah, ok, ok, ok. Pass Metro Centro, pass en Metro Centro. Pass. Okay. Eh, pass. pass. ¿Verdad que sí, Mavis? Ajá, uh -huh. eso esperaba. Move, move. No. M, M, O. Ajá. Y. No. Again, M, O. Move. Uh -huh. No. No. It's pass, pass Metro Centro. Passing Metro Just Centro. Passing or passing by, teacher? Mm, mm, pass. Pass. Ok. No hay muchas rutas de bus que lleven a mi trabajo. Eric. There are not many bus routes. Let's say there aren't many bus routes. Routes. Bus routes. Mm -hmm. That take me to work. Ojo, take me. Ese verbo quería aterrizar. There aren't many bus routes that lead to my job. 
Se dirijan yeah. a mi trabajo. Ajá. Que lleven, que dirijan a mi trabajo. It leads mm. my job. Mm. No, y no, no podríamos hacer that go to my job. That go to my job. No, porque no van a, al trabajo. No lo llevan estrictamente ahí. There are no. There are no. Mm -hmm. Go to a specific one. Roots. Roots. To my job. 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 Very good. Job. Okay. There aren't. There aren't. No. A lot of no se ocupa en negativo. Ah. Uh -huh. muy... sí, no, 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 no se negativo. There aren't many bus routes that lead to my job. Okay. Hay dos cajeros automáticos cruzando la calle, Rafa. There are two ATMs across the street. Mm -hmm. There are two ATMs. And across the street. Across the street. Perfect. Good preposition. Oops. Okay. Trabajo entre cubículos rodeado de compañeros. ¿Alguien que lo haya logrado? Who made it? ¿Quién lo logró? Trabajo entre cubículos rodeado de compañeros. Hay mucho ruido. Michelle? Um, I work between cubicles surrounded by colleges. There is a lot of noise. Close, very good. Aunque sí, se puede decir. I work among cubicles um, surrounded. Oh, ¿cómo es? Yeah. Surrounded by colleges. Surrounded by co workers, colleges. Colleagues, colleagues, colleagues. Okay, co workers. Uh -huh. Colleagues. Uh -huh. Surrounded by co workers. There's much noise. Or a lot of noise? There's a lot of noise. That sounds better. A lot of noise. There's a lot of noise. Okay. Oops. My God, it's 10 o'clock, guys. Okay, let's go Perfect. really quick. Okay, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. She said yes. Ana Michelle Guevara Sanchez. Here. Thank you. Blanca Argelia Fabián Mejía. Edwin Rolando Méndez Chicas. Here. Eric Gabriel Salvador Benavides. Here. Flora Lorena Chávez Campos. Here. Gilberto Eli Mendoza Rosales. Here. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Jennifer Carolina Gallardo Chacón. Oh, so José great. Ángel Pereira Romero. Yes. José Marvin Portillo Argueta. Karen Alexis Juárez Vigil. Carla Vanessa García de Pérez. Yes. Maybe Zivet Milla Contreras. Here, here, here. Néstor Iván Ramírez Galeano. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here. Rafael Ernesto González Ventura. Here. Reinaldo Bonilla Martínez. Verónica Lisset Sánchez Pérez. Here. And Jancy Lisbeth Hernández Mejía. Here. Okay, guys. Bien, les dejo. Tengo que ir a las reuniones uno a uno. Ahorita les envío el link. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.